A lot of patients present to an office like mine with pain and numbness and or tingling in their feet when they go for a walk, and they are convinced that they just must have a peripheral neuropathy. Now, this is almost never the case, and let me explain why. A peripheral neuropathy is a generalized problem of the nerves. This can be due to a number of causes such as diabetes, medications, hormone imbalances, infections like Lyme disease, and a host of other causes. But the common thread is that the problem in a peripheral neuropathy is inside of the nerve. And because the problem is inside of the nerves, it generally, although this isn't a hard and fast rule, but it generally means that the symptoms in the feet aren't going to be positionally dependent, right? They're just going to be there all the time. That is, whether you're walking, sitting, jumping, or lying down, the problem is still inside the nerve. So you really should have those symptoms regardless of what you happen to be doing or what position you're in. Of course, with a peripheral neuropathy, like, like anything else, you may be more or less aware of your symptoms at different times during the day. If you're engrossed in an activity, you might filter out the symptoms while you're doing that activity, whereas when you're lying down at night, you might focus on them more. But that's not about the position. That's really more about your awareness. If you have symptoms in your feet or legs only when you're going for a walk, this suggests that there's something about, that, about the walk that is bringing on those symptoms. And there are two things that are happening when you're going for a walk. So one is that the muscles in your legs are requiring more blood flow, right? Because you're walking. And the longer you walk, the more blood flow your legs are asking for because the muscles are working harder, right? So the more you use your muscles, the more blood they require. Now, if the blood flow to your legs is restricted because of vascular claudication or vascular disease, then as you walk and the muscles are asking for more and more blood, more and more oxygen that they can't receive, the legs start to complain. They might get numb, they might tingle, they might get painful. So generally, if peripheral vascular disease is the culprit, the longer you walk, the more symptomatic it's going to get until it just hurts too much or it's just too numb and tingly and you have to stop walking. If the symptoms in your feet and legs is because of spinal stenosis, then what's happening is that as you're walking, the position of your spine is slowly putting pressure on the nerves as they exit out of the spine. People with classic spinal stenosis generally have more symptoms when they're in lumbar extension, when they're bending backwards, or when they're up straight, such as standing straight up, and certainly if they're leaning backwards. And they will tend to have less symptoms when they're leaning forward, because when you lean forward, when you bend forward, it takes the pressure off of the back of the spine, which in turn relieves the pressure from the nerves.